Thanks for joining John and myself. And we have an, a really, uh, I'm, I'm going to just say it straight out, a terrific movie to review for you this week. And if you enjoyed it just oh, at half as much as I did, and I'm going to, I'll let John speak for himself, then uh, you're going to have a good time. It's called The Hitman. It's a, uh, it was uh, produced uh, by, uh, or directed by Linkletter. Uh, Richard Linkletter, right, yeah, well-known and, director. Right, and most of the others are not that well-known. Jason Bateman was in the background someplace producing. Uh, yeah. But it was a, all in all, a terrific movie, well-acted, and uh, you couldn't really get, it. every time you guess the ending, you're going to be wrong. So you're going to have yeah. to hang around to the end. Well, the important thing to know about this movie is that it's not your typical hitman movie. You know, you you read the, the title, Hitman, and you can picture, of course, there's probably been lots of movies called Hitman or mm. The Hitman or something like that, but you can almost picture the whole story, you know, and the blood and the gore and whatever. This really is a, a big twist on the concept of a hitman movie. Um, the story is that Richard Linkletter uh, read an article in the in a magazine years ago yeah. uh, about a book <laughs> and followed it up and ended up uh, with the help of, let's see, Glenn Powell, who stars in it, yeah. Jason Bateman, you mentioned his name, and a guy named Michael Costigan, whose name sounds familiar to me, um, all produced the movie and it, they did a wonderful job with it. So the story, Art, you can, you can yeah. de give me the details of this. The story is about a, a professor, kind of a nerdy guy, mm who really works on computers and is a consultant for the police department. Yeah, so I, he works by the way, this is a, not that it matters that much, but it's in New Orleans. Right. And, and he works for the police department. And he, for some reason, and I don't recall what, he goes on an undercover um, sting, if you will, mm -hmm. and then ends up becoming an undercover operative for the police, just on a, yeah, let an me, emergency basis. Actually, let me, let me do this for the transition because it's really, uh, uh, it, it's sort of the heart of the story of he's an unintended uh, 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 foe uh, hitman, if you will. Basically, uh, his part-time job for the New Orleans Police Department is with a couple of other people sitting in a truck. They go in and they wire uh, a location where they know right. somebody is going to be coming in to arrange for a hit on uh, either a partner or a loved one or whatever that they want to get rid of. And so what they do is they set up these things and he's part of the electronics team in a van around the corner and they set everything up with yeah. the microphones. And that's what he's done for years. And what happened, uh, then a real cop uh, goes in and he actually sits there and he pretends to be uh, the hitman and money is exchanged and they get the whole thing on tape and then they go ahead uh, and the DAs uh, prosecute them. So in this one particular case, the cop they've been working with for years, uh, who apparently is a, uh, um, has uh, roughed up a lot of his uh, uh, people he's arrested in the past, got suspended for six months. And as of that moment that they were just about ready to do his thing and they had to take somebody in the van to send them in there, to get all the entrapping information. Uh, this this mild-mannered professor who never would have thought to do anything like this, they told him, you're up. You know what to do. You've been listening to it for, for months and months and months now. And he goes in and he becomes now this, this faux hitman who's collecting the data as opposed to just right. sitting in the truck behind the scenes. And he becomes, pretty, he becomes pretty good at it. He, Because he's a psychology professor, he's able to deal with people who have yeah. requested a hitman and he gets them to admit that they wanted to hire somebody to kill somebody right and so they he has a good arrest record and he continues as this undercover police agent to getting people to admit they they want to hire killers all of a sudden he meets a beautiful young woman who wants to get out of a really bad relationship and he's taken with her and then he he turns to her and he says Look, instead of hiring a hitman like me, take this money and go go run away. Yeah. Save your life. Don't get involved in killing. And so he goes back to the van and they're all mad at him because he lost the 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 uh the, the collar. Yeah. And of course, he falls in love with this beautiful woman who he let go, if you will. 
and the the relationship ensues. And of course, you you've got this wonderful dichotomy between the woman who wanted to kill her boyfriend and hire a hitman, and now who is free and whatever, and the guy who is was a mild mannered professor and now has become this staggering, uh, swaggering uh, uh, hitman, right. at least faux hitman. And then without ruining it for anybody, so what happens is uh, the other cop gets off suspension or comes back and uh, doesn't like the fact that <laughs> the, this new hitman uh, has been so successful and there's really a lot of resentment there uh, between them. And so he tries to get him entrapped uh, then Powell and Trap uh, for having helped this other woman uh, change her mind. Uh, and then there there is murder that ensues and things like that. Right. And uh, they try to pin stuff on him. It's an interesting twist near the end. How it all, I it's quite frankly, movie. I guessed a couple of times totally incorrectly, and I'm pretty good at this stuff. So they really had some wonderful devices, kept me yeah. to the end. Absolutely, absolutely enjoyed this. Uh, uh, Rotten Tomatoes, I think, was ninety six percent. I enjoyed a hundred percent. Yeah, it's it's a um, it's a comedy, obviously. Mm. Dark, uh, dark it's comedy. a romance. It's a romance. Uh, there's plenty of fun action without real murder and blood. Um, it, I think it is rated R because of the sex scenes. But it's just a wonderful story, and it's well acted, and it's a lot of fun. Don't miss the ending, whatever you do. Absolutely. Enjoy. And that's on Netflix, I think, John, right? I believe it's on Netflix, yeah. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.